And so could you just join with me this morning as we open up and thank God for all that he's done. Father, we thank you today, God, for all that you have done. God, we know that we can come and receive from you and we can come and uh, partake in your presence today. But before we do that, God, we want to celebrate all that you have done in our lives, God. You've saved us. God, some of us, you've healed us. God, you've set us free. God, you've given us hope and liberty. God, we thank you for all that you have done. And God, we, that gives us faith to believe for all that you're going to do. And God, we thank you in advance for those things as well. But God, most of all, we thank you for who you are. You are good. You are faithful. You are true. You are just. You are righteous. And God, we thank you for who you are. We thank you that you loved us enough to send us your son to die on the cross so that we could have life and life forevermore. So today, God, I pray that we will celebrate you and who you are and all that you have done and all that you will do. In Jesus' name, everyone shout it. Amen. Amen. Would you give the Lord the highest praise this morning?
of our worship this morning.
Come on, if you can, just raise your hands to Jesus. Just say, have your way in my heart today. Have your way in this place. Jesus. Jesus is not looking to inhabit buildings that are made by hand, but he wants your place. He wants you. So as you just raise your hands to him, just invite him, say, Holy Spirit, fill me up. Fill me up. Fill me up, Jesus. Fill me up, Jesus. To the point to where I don't have room for anything else. Fill me up. Fill me up. Fill me up, Jesus. So that I don't have room for pride or insecurity or fear or anxiety. Fill me up, Jesus. Fill me up, Jesus. Fill me up, Jesus. They're going to go into one more song, and it's called Make Room. And I want us to make that our prayer this morning, that we just make room for more of God in our life. That we make room for more of God in our life. God, empty us right now in the name of Jesus. Empty us of everything that's filling up space that should be occupied by you. Fill us up, Jesus. Fill us up, Jesus.
Run to me this morning. Yes, yes. I'm a never ending well. Thank you, Father. Thank you. What you have need of, Thank you, I will supply. Thank you, Father. I am all you need this morning. Thank you, Father. Surrender it Thank at the you. altar. Thank you, Father. Says the Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We receive that word today, God. Let's just do that. I don't, I don't think I need to add to that. If you just need to lay something down at the altar, I want to open the altars right now. Come on, let's just move right now. If there's something in your life that you just need to lay down, come on. The Holy Spirit can work this in you right now. Come on. The altars are open. Let's go. If you say, there's something I need to lay down, so that the Holy Spirit can fill me up more. Come on, let's go. Jesus. 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 You can just feel it on the inside. Come on, you feel it, friend. Don't leave here with what you came with. Let it go. Just let it go. It's you and Jesus right now. You and Jesus right now. Let it go. on he can't fill it he can't fill a vessel that's already full he wants you to empty yourself so that he can fill you up today come on empty yourself so that he can fill you up today come on yes we make room God we make room Jesus we make room Jesus
empty ourselves out, God, and we make room for you, Jesus. We lay everything down at your feet, God. We lay everything down at your feet, Jesus. Don't let us leave this place carrying anything. Anything but you, Jesus. Anything but you, Jesus. Anything but you, Jesus. We empty ourselves, God. We empty ourselves, Jesus. We empty ourselves, Jesus. We empty ourselves, God. We empty ourselves, Jesus. We empty ourselves, Jesus. Now, Jesus. Now, God. We empty ourselves now, Jesus. Only you. Only you remain. Only you remain. Only you remain, God. Jesus. We make room for you, 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 Jesus. Shotabashi. Make room for you, Jesus. God, you're the only thing that matters. You're the only thing that matters, God. Empty us of our pride and em empty us of our complacency, God. Empty us of our fears and anxiety, God. Empty us of our own selfish desires. I feel like the Lord... The Lord's saying you may not be involved in willful sin or open sin, but I believe that there's somebody here that it's just selfishness. It's your own selfish desires. It's, it's just selfishness. And God's saying, I want you to empty yourself of selfishness today. And I want you to become more concerned with with what He has for us than what we have for ourselves. God, empty us of selfishness today. Come on, if that's you, I want you to respond. If you're already in the altars, respond to that. Say, God, I empty myself of selfishness right now. Take my selfishness and replace it with selflessness. Selfless love. Selfless obedience. In Jesus' name. Come on, if you need to respond, do that today. We make room for you, Jesus. 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 We need this this morning. We need this this morning. Jesus. Jesus. If I asked you this morning, who wants to receive something from God, we would probably all raise our hands. But sometimes receiving from God means laying something down. It just means laying something down. Whether you're in the altars or in your seat, can you just begin to say that, God, I lay it all down. I lay it all down. Right now, we lay it down. Everything. 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 We lay it down.
2 Kings chapter 4 says, One day the widow of a member of the group of the prophets came to Elisha and cried out, My husband who served you is dead. And you know how he feared the Lord. But now a creditor has come threatening to take away my sons as slaves. Elijah said, what can I do to help you? Tell me, what do you have in your house? And she said, nothing except a flask of olive oil. Elijah said, borrow as many empty jars as you can from your friends and your neighbors. Then go into your house with your son and shut the door behind you. Pour olive oil from your flask into the jars setting each one aside when it is filled. So she did as she was told. Her sons kept bringing jars to her, and she filled one after another. Soon every container was full to the brim. Bring me another jar, she said to one of her sons. There aren't any more, he told her. And then the oil stopped flowing. When she told the man of God what had happened, he said to her, Now sell the olive oil and pay off your debts, and you and your sons can live on what is left over. I feel like the Holy Spirit saying, Bring me another jar. Bring me another jar. Bring me another jar and I'll fill it. But it has to be an empty one. Bring me an empty jar and I'll fill it. Bring me an empty jar and I will fill it. Bring me an empty jar and I'll fill it. We're the jar. We're the jar. We just emptied ourselves in the altars. We just laid everything down. We laid down the things that are filling us up that was taking up room from the Lord. And now I believe the Holy Spirit saying, bring your empty jars and let me fill them. Bring your empty jars and let me fill them. Bring your empty jars and let me fill them. God, we're so thankful for emptiness. We're so thankful for emptiness, God, because that's when we can really find you. God, we're thankful for emptiness today. God, I pray that we will present our empty jars, God, to you. That's what I feel like the Lord's saying. That's what I feel like the Lord's saying this morning. If you don't intentionally fill your jars with the Holy Spirit, something else will. If you're not intentional about filling your empty jar with the Holy Spirit, something else will fill that jar. Something else will take your time. Something else will take your money. Something else will take your attention. Something else will take your heart. Be intentional about filling those jars with the Holy Spirit. Be intentional. Be intentional. So what I want you to do, wherever you are, open your hands like you're going to receive from God right now. Come on, just wherever you are. Open your hands like you're going to receive. And just say, fill me up, God. My jar is empty. Fill it up right now in the name of Jesus. Now, just in this atmosphere of peace, can you let him do it right now? Come on, wherever you are, just let him fill you. Let him fill you. Let him fill you. Fill us up, Jesus. Fill us up, Jesus. Fill us up, Jesus. 
to the brim, God. More than enough. More than enough. So that we have something to give away, God. More than enough. So that we can be the hands and feet of Jesus. More than enough so that love can flow out of us. More than enough so that grace can flow out of us. More than enough so that mercy can flow out of us. More than enough so that kindness can flow out of us. More than enough, Jesus. Fill us up. Fill us up, God. Fill us up, Jesus. Matthew 13, verse 12 says, Whoever has, to him more shall be given, and he will have an abundance. Whoever has, more shall be given, and to him he shall have an abundance. I believe that God's wanting to fill you up with abundance to the brim even overflowing more than enough somebody shout more than enough God never wants to give you just enough for you the widow made the request but it was enough for her it was enough for her those that she was in debt to and it was enough for her sons to live off of it was more than enough Somebody say that again, more than enough. Father, I thank you for what you've done in this place today. God, I thank you for the opportunity to empty ourselves. And God, I'm thankful that you have filled us up. And I believe you filled us up more than enough God I pray that as we leave this place today here in a few moments
God, that we will take everything that we've received from you and we will give it away, God. God, that we will live a lifestyle of emptiness so that you can fill us up continuously. God, I pray that we will pour ourselves out to those around us, to those in our communities, God, to those who are in need. God, I pray that you will help us to pour ourselves out, God, so that you can give us more, so that we can pour ourselves out. God, we thank you for that, and we give you praise. In Jesus' name, everybody shouted. Would you give the Lord a hand clap of praise this morning? Amen. Amen. Would you share fellowship with one another as you return to your seats for a few moments this morning? Come on, find somebody to encourage. Find somebody to uplift. Find somebody to stir up this morning. Come on, if you're seated, get up. You can get up and just shake some hands, hug some necks. Come on, be the body of Christ this morning. Amen. Amen. Hey, we want to thank everyone for being here this morning. We want to thank you for uh, choosing Unity Church Magnolia. If this is your first time and you're a guest with us this morning, we want to welcome you. We want to thank you for being here. Uh, if you're a returning guest, thanks for choosing us again. And uh, there's a Connect card at the end of your seat. Uh, if you would fill that out for us, we'd love to know that you are here. There's also prayer cards spread out through the sanctuary. Uh, if you have something that you would like for us to pray about with you, we'd love to do that. Um, but... How many knows God is good? Amen. Amen. Yeah, go on. Give him praise this morning. He's done a lot for us today. Thank you, Jesus. God is good. Um, we've got some that are back from spring break, and we've got some that left for spring break this weekend. So uh, can't wait to be here next week when everybody's back with us. So I do have a few announcements that I want to make uh, before we get ready to dismiss this morning. Uh, if you're giving, uh, you can do that by the QR code on your screen. It'll be up, and uh, you can do that on the QR code, or you can drop your offerings and your tithes in the basket in the back. We want to thank you for your faithfulness in giving. Uh, there have been some that have started tithing just recently, and I want to thank you for that, and I just can't wait to hear the testimonies that are going to come from that. Can somebody say Amen. Also, uh, today at 2.30, I will be attending a revival uh, at Greater Harvest Church here in town uh, on Highway 19. And so uh, if anyone would like to go, it's at 2.30 today. It's Friends and Family Day. Uh, so we're going to go. I think the, there's some from the Pentecostal Church that's going to go. And uh, we're just going to go and just praise the Lord together. And, uh, and so if you'd like to attend that, uh, I'm going to be there. I'm not going to be ministering. I'm just attending. Uh, it's one of our pastors that's involved in the minister's network. And we're going to go, and the church is going to be a blessing to them as well. Uh, that's today, tomorrow. Uh, Jim Mack and I are going to go to uh, Louisville to help out a church there. And on Wednesday at 2 o'clock, uh, we are going to kind of, relaunch or whatever you want to call it master's hands we're, we've got a project here at the church that we're going to work on we're going to be making a couple of rooms for special needs uh, to go along with what we have uh, in our uh, preschool classroom 
and so uh, we're excited about that. We're going to work on that Wednesday afternoon at 2 o'clock. Also, Miss Verna at 2 o'clock is going to be working on a cancer resource room here at the church that uh, we're going to be, I think, painting and doing a few things. I'm not sure. We've got to rearrange some stuff. But it's a place where people in our community can come and uh, find the resources that they need, whether that's uh, hair pieces or uh or just items that are important when uh, people in our community are going through cancer. That's Wednesday at 2 o'clock. If there's anyone that would like to help with that project as well, some of the ladies have asked if they could come and help her with that. And so uh, we've got that. We've also got a project going on the stage, uh, a center piece for the stage that we're working on. So lots of good things happening this week. Uh, we're excited. Uh, this weekend, we're going to be taking some students to campus days at Southwestern Assembly of God University and uh, experiencing that with them. Uh, and we're getting ready for Easter coming up next month in April. And uh, we've got a series that we'll be doing in April called The Battle Cry. And so I'm excited about that. And uh, also the Saturday of Easter, we'll be giving away food to our community. We won't be doing the egg hunt this year on Saturday. We were partnering with KZHE to do that, and they're not doing it this year. Uh, and so we're going to transfer our resources and our efforts to uh, feeding hungry families uh, in our community. We feel like that's a good way to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ, is to, to be life to those in our community. And so there's lots of opportunities for you to get involved and to serve. Uh, there's plenty of announcements in your bulletins. If you didn't get a bulletin, please get that. Uh, see that. Youth, I think you guys have a discipleship lunch today. So um, I believe Pastor Mikey's got uh, lunch prepared for you guys. And so it's good to be a teenager sometimes. And so uh, they went paintballing yesterday. I can't wait to see pictures from that. And so uh, anyway, it's been a great week. We've got lots of good things going on. Our calendar is absolutely slam-packed for the next two months, so there's going to be plenty of things for you to do, to get involved with, uh, and to enjoy. So we're thankful for all that God's done for us. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but we were able to pressure wash, uh, have someone pressure wash the, the property for us all around the building, and so the concrete's nice and clean, the building's nice and clean, everything looks fresh. Uh, we're still waiting on the trees to be coming down. The rest of the pine trees will be coming down soon. And so uh, weather's got to cooperate with us for that. So anyway, lots of good stuff happening. Thank you so much for your giving. Thank you for being a part of Unity Church. And how many knows that the best is yet to come? Amen. Would you stand with me this morning? Father, I thank you for all that you've done. God, I thank you for uh, being here with us today. God, your presence has been undeniable. God, today I pray that, Lord, it won't just be an encounter that we had in the altar, God, but it'll be a lifestyle that we enjoy, God, for the rest of our life of emptying ourselves and you filling us up. God, I pray that you will make us the hands and feet of Jesus to our community. God, that we will be able to serve you in all that we are and all that we do. In Jesus' name, everyone shout it. Amen. One more time, give God a hand clap of praise. You have anything? Good? You guys are dismissed. Thank you so much.